Oh my gosh, I have been waiting to do this collective thrift haul for months. I have so many great finds that are truly just gonna bring my wardrobe to the next level in 2023, and I am so excited to share them all. We've got clothes, we've got accessories, we've got fabric to be turned into clothes. I will need your suggestions on that. And we've also got some amazing thrifted home decor finds. Okay, let's get into it. First up, we are starting with what has quickly become my absolute favorite sweater, this sporty little green and gray pullover. I'm just so into this. I love the white stripe in the middle and down the sleeves. I think that and the tighter knit are what gives it like a really cool sporty vibe, but I like that it's still a sweater, not a sweatshirt. I'm also just so in love with this green. I have been super into like lime green lately. I don't know. Am I reverting back to my nine-year-old self? It's possible. The fit is also so good. It's from the men's section, so it's slightly oversized, slightly boxier, and the knit is just like a little thicker and more structured, which I love in a sweater. Truly, when thrifting, the men's sweaters are always so superior. They're just better quality. I don't know why, but that's my pro tip. All right, next up, we are still on a slightly sporty outdoorsy kick with this blue quilted vest. This is another piece I have been wearing a ton. It is so comfy and convenient to throw on in the winter. Super cozy and adds a great element of dimension mention and I really like that this has this sort of like matte blankety type material rather than like a shiny puffer coat material. I think that makes it look less active wear and more like cozy, which is more my vibe. Yeah, I love that it has that utilitarian quality and the coziness, so it's super versatile. All right, y'all, this next item is one so many of you have already commented on here on YouTube and on Instagram saying how much you love it. I'm glad you all are as obsessed with it as I am. It is this red quilted jacket. This is truly like one of my best thrift purchases ever, I think. It's just like my perfect wardrobe piece. I love the colorful yet understated pattern. It's cozy, but it's still super lightweight. It's so easy to throw on with anything. I love the way it falls on my body. It's so comfortable. I could keep going. Um, yeah, everything about this is absolutely perfect to me. And oh my gosh, I didn't even mention yet. It's also reversible. What? This pattern's also so good. Amazing, obsessed, literally something's wrong here, I am sick because after that jacket, the next five items are also jackets and coats. What possessed me to buy six coats in three months? I don't know. Well, they're all different, okay? <laughs> they all have value to add to my wardrobe and one of them was acquired by accident. I'll explain when we get there. But first up, we have this really cool khaki raincoat. This might not look cool yet, but wait till you see it on, okay? First, we have like a bubble hem, but on the sleeves. Never seen that before, kind of obsessed with it. It's also sort of a cropped half sleeve, which I know a lot of people hate, but I personally love. I think it creates such a cool silhouette. And then the torso of the jacket is sort of like a flared out baby doll shape. And then it also has a zip up collar to create this like really high neckline. So many little elements are combined in this jacket that just make it so cool and interesting. The shape of this also reminds me of these like little quilted jackety things from Minju Kim that I'm so obsessed with. And this jacket has a double zipper. The possibilities are endless. I personally have been really loving the look of a double zipper where the top one is zipped all the way up and then it's left open on the bottom. Oh, and I didn't even mention the waist ties, which are so cool. I like it tied, but I also think they look really cool just hanging down because of the way they're attached, it looks still like very intentional. I know this is literally just like a khaki rain jacket, but I just am so into the little details of this piece. Next up, we have a khaki trench coat. The last one was cropped with a cool shape. This one is quite long and it has no shape at all. It's kind of too big on me, but I kind of love that in a long jacket. I had really been on the hunt for a nice long coat. I didn't have any in my wardrobe, so I thought this classic staple was a great start. Also, this little tag looks kind of like, kind of fancy, right? This seems like a quality vintage item. Does anyone know this brand? Tell me if it's good or not. I also got this from sort of a strange local thrift store. Where nothing in the store had prices on it, and you just kind of bring your stuff to the owner and he like gives you a price. So I was looking at a couple different jackets, and then I picked one and brought it to the guy. He gave me a price, I was like, okay, sounds good. And then it turns out that price was for all the jackets I was looking at. And I was like, okay, I was only gonna take one, but sure, I guess I'll take this one too. So that's how I ended up with some extra uh, coats. Shout out to that man. So this next coat was the other one he gave me that day. I've actually worn this one way more so far. It is this fabulous faux suede long overcoat. This one fits me better than the other one, but the main reason I've gotten more wear out of this one is because I added this faux fur collar myself, which totally transforms it into like luxurious winter vibes, but also kind of like 70s Penny Lane vibes. I'm super into it. I also actually thrifted this furry collar separately somewhere else. It was one that used to be like detached 
attachable to a different jacket and I literally just attach it to this with safety pins and it's worked great and then that means I can take it off in like the springtime and just wear it as a non furry jacket oh and then there was actually a third coat that this man also gave me but that one was just ridiculously large on me those three coats I didn't mean to get all of them, okay? I only meant to get one. Does that justify these next two that I also got at a later date? I don't know, but they're all different, okay? This next one, I was just drawn to. It is this beautiful rust-colored belted utility coat. This one is just so beautiful. I love the look of these belted utility dresses and coats. They just feel so like funky and retro and sort of 70s to me. So when I found this one, I had to snatch it up. I especially love the color of this one and like the pretty visible stitching that just adds a cool detail to it. It also has this sort of symmetrical like patchwork or cargo look to it. It just has a lot of really cool details. It's a style I really like. It's Kenneth Cole, so you know, nice quality. I just love that the design is like cool enough to be a statement but also subtle enough to actually be quite versatile. It's just cool. I'm a fan. Finally, our last coat is really what I was looking for the whole time when I was finding all the other coats. I really wanted a plaid overcoat with some color to it. So when I found this gray and blue one, I had to grab this one too. It's comfortable. It has a great fit, a great length to it. This is probably my favorite one. Like I said, this is what I was really hunting for all along <laughs> my journey of long coat thrifting and I finally just found this one like last week so I'm super excited to style it. Okay the last clothing item before we move on to accessories is just this little white slip skirt. This like barely counts as clothing. I really just got this to go under a dress I have that's too short but I do think it could definitely be fun to play around with styling this more visibly too. I think this would be so cute with like a bodysuit or something if you were doing those like ballerina vibes you know. I don't know this has potential. All right y'all now we are on to accessories. This section is more of a hodgepodge. I have a couple things that I got firsthand, but we also have some super fun thrift finds in here too, so let's just get into it. Okay, so the first item is from Target, but it is just this puffy braided headband. I have been wanting one of these puffy headbands forever. I love the look of these, but I just kept seeing ones that were weirdly overly decorated and I was like, these are all ugly. I just didn't find one that I liked until now. The puffy shape gives such a cool like 60s space age vibe, but it also reminds me of like Renaissance French hoods, especially with the braided texture. It just kind of makes me feel like a princess or a saint in a Catholic stained glass art piece. Okay, our next two items were some exchanges for a Christmas gift that was just not really my style. First up, we have these fabulous, gorgeous, heart gem earrings. Are you kidding me? These are so cute. Look at them. I have been so excited to wear these, especially for February for Valentine's Day. So cute, so good. I love heart themed anything. And I have been very into like sort of glam big gem earrings lately. They just make me feel very glittery and magical and also sort of gothic. I love the drama. On that note, the other earrings I exchanged the gift for are these amazing like silver and gold little sunburst earrings. These are just so glorious. I actually pinned some earrings just like this on Pinterest many months ago, so this was just such a serendipitous find. These make me feel like a powerful good witch, and I love that. Now we have our final pair of earrings. These I got at like a small business artist stall at like an event, but the stall had like a bunch of old jewelry scraps that they were selling for like a dollar each, so I dug through and found uh, this little matching pair of the coolest, most fun little mod blue circle earrings. I just love these. I love how they look on me. I don't even know why, I just do. I love 60s mod, if you can't tell by my little beret. So these are just really very me. I'm very into these. All right, now we are onto some purses, all of which are thrifted. And first up, we have such a treasure. This adorable pink leather purse with this little heart hardware on it. Are you serious? This is so cute. Oh my god. Like I said earlier, any sort of heart motif, I'm on board. I'm lapping it up. I'm loving it. I also love this like woven brown leather handle on this. I just think it is such a unique detail that also makes this feel a little more mature and less like cutesy. And also attached to the handle is a little charm that's a key. 
that matches the heart. It's the key to the heart. Are you kidding me? That's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Next up, we have a more understated bag, but it still adds a little bit of interest. Every purse I own is either black or white. So I've really been wanting an update with more like colorful or patterned or just more interesting bags. So we also have this little houndstooth purse. I love how versatile this is because it's still very neutral. The pattern is like black, brown, and beige, but I like that it has multiple colors in it and that it has this pattern. I just think it could really add a little interest to an outfit. Fit. Also, both of these bags have crossbody straps, which is very important to me because I have realized if a bag does not have a strap long enough to go over my shoulder or a crossbody strap, I will not use it ever. Okay, the final accessory I wanted to mention is also firsthand from Target. It's literally just socks, but it's knee-high socks. I have a black pair and a white pair, and normally I wouldn't bother to mention socks in one of these, but these are such an outfit game changer. Like, knee-high socks can add such a fun, cute detail to so many different outfits. I've been enjoying them so much and they are truly one of the cheapest possible accessories to really add something unique to an outfit and use them over and over and over again. Okay, the last thing before moving on to home decor is some fabric. I really want suggestions on what to make with it. So I got both of these from a church rummage sale. And first up, we have this floral tapestry fabric. So cool, totally reminds me of those like tapestry mini skirts. And I did already make one out of this fabric as seen in my recreating best dress outfits video but there's a lot of fabric left so give me suggestions and then our second fabric look at this little heart valentiney patchwork fabric are you kidding me this is so adorable can you tell i'm really on a heart motif kick lately this is just like so cute and also <laughs> i realized after i got it looking closer at the illustrations that they do say courtship and matrimony on them which is unhinged but it's so funny i would really love to make a top like this but i don't know if i'll have enough fabric yeah please just tell me anything that comes to mind for you for this fabric all right y'all so that was all the clothing and accessories but now i just want to quickly show you some amazing thrifted home decor finds because they're just so good and i'm excited about them and i am of course saving the best for last first up we have these blue taper candles. This candle holder was actually a housewarming gift from my sister. So I just needed some candles to go in it and I think colorful ones are way more fun. Yeah, I found a whole pack of those at the thrift store. I have like eight more. Next up, we have this beautiful circular rattan tray. It's quite large. It's in perfect condition. This is just gorgeous and it would be like $30 at Target. I got this for our living room side table because this table just looked a little blank. Our next home decor piece is this beautiful blanket. Sorry, I just keep calling everything beautiful. I know that's not actually that descriptive, but they are beautiful and I'm excited about them. <laughs> Sue me. Anyway, this blanket. I love these blue strands woven in with like the little tassels on the ends. It's just a very cool, detailed, crafted look. This I'm actually hoping to turn into a large wall hanging. Stay tuned to see if and how <laughs> I managed to accomplish that. Okay, the last small decor piece before my small collection of wall art is not actually thrifted, but it's DIY by me. So I wanna show you. <laughs> I went to one of those paint your own pottery places with some friends over the holidays and I made this little dish. Look how cute it is. I'm so proud of it, I love it. This is your sign to go to a paint your own pottery place with your friends. Okay, next up we have a whole little collection of thrifted wall art. We just needed art to fill all these walls. I don't need to explain these in too much depth, but here they are. This lovely little still life of some oranges. Gorgeous, I love it, enough set. Also, this one didn't come in a frame, but then I thrifted this frame for it the same day. This sort of intricate yellow flower design. Honestly, I don't know if I love this, I feel like maybe it looks too dated. This big blue china plate printed on this canvas. Honestly, this is fine, but I did also get this with the idea of painting something else over it in mind, just using it as a canvas. I also just got a lot of smaller canvases for my apartment, so if you wanna see me paint those or give me ideas of what to paint on them, let me know. Next up is just a frame. It's this floral one that I just thought was cool. And this one kind of matches the art, which by the way, this is my own artwork and you can buy a print of it on my print shop. Ooh. Ah. 
Next, we have this very small but cool piece, a pressed flower preserved in pink glass, and it hangs in a diamond shape instead of a square on the wall. This map art I got from my boyfriend to put in his little desk nook because old maps always have kind of whimsical literary fantasy vibes, which is very his style. And finally, the last piece of art, which is the biggest and definitely my favorite, it is so cool, it is this giant flower quilt print. I love this so much. This is like the epitome of my style. It's colorful, it's cozy, it has nature motifs. It's kind of modern but traditional at the same time. I just love this so much. And it was $5. I have not hung this up yet. I'm trying to figure out like the perfect spot for it because it's honestly my favorite art that we have now. I'm very excited to hang it up. Also, it says Fiona Howard on the bottom if anyone's interested. All right, finally, I just have some larger home items slash furniture. We have actually thrifted almost all of our furniture. I can share it if people are interested. But these recent couple items were just too good, so they get included now. First up, this adorable, little desk. This was $20 at the thrift store. It was just small enough to fit in my friend's car who very graciously helped me transport it. I love the wood. I love just the whole construction of it. Like it's beat up, but the design is just so superior to any generic modern cheap desk. This next item is not thrifted. I don't know if you can thrift live plants, but it's this giant plant behind me. I'm just so excited about it. I had to share it. Look how big it is. I have always wanted a giant plant and they were always so expensive that I've never gotten one. But this one, bizarrely, was $13 at my grocery store. I have no idea why the grocery store was selling plants this big and why it was only $13. But I am so happy she has joined our home. It's kind of hard to hug a plant. Finally, the last and possibly best home item is a very small piece of furniture. I don't even know if you all will think this is as cool as I do, um, but I think this is such a treasure. It was only $13 and it is this beautiful woven table. I don't even know what this is. It doesn't look like wicker or rattan, but I mean, it's just so good. The very large woven texture, the rich warm brown color, the scalloped edges are an especially gorgeous touch. I just love her. She's so special. And she makes the perfect little plant table in our apartment. This was just such a lucky find. Literally, I was like hauling this around in my cart and multiple other people in the thrift store were like, oh my gosh, that's a gorgeous table. Wow, this was like the longest thrift haul ever. So if you're still watching at the end, um, drop a plant emoji in the comments so I know you're a real one and I love you. Also, please answer all my questions in the comments. You all are very smart and creative and insightful and I had a lot of questions. Oh, also, I heard if you do leave a comment, watch another video and subscribe to the channel, your grocery store will have giant plants for $13.